tournament gets underway a week on Saturday. So it's you see to get us underway. Of course, it's six frames required to go through. Zhou Yulong, twice a ranking event finalist, awaits the winner. And it's welcome. He is a different sort of a test for Stephen Hendry, one of the greatest of all time. There's no argument there. But in the modern era, nine years away, he never... Yes, clearly it doesn't come with the nostalgic baggage of the Hen Hendry having been off the tour for so long. Was considered something of an underdog, as it turned out. He won fairly comfortably 6-3. One vintage break of 66 reflected in his ranking. Five first-round exits in ranking events. But he has been a semi-final. And that was wow. very well cued by Hendry. The matches of his career, actually, he was outstanding. But Hendry did make a century in losing 4-1. And came away from that match. Optimum conditions on the, the championship table. Oh. Which I don't think he's got any aspirations to be world champion. An interesting way of finding out a little bit more on that level. 11. The final memory he wants to take away from this great tournament. The final memory he wants to take away from this great tournament. Against Maguire. 18. He looks, the cue action looks a little bit more. Triple crown success. Five UK, six Masters and a record. 26. Oh, but the pink eludes him. That will they're a way apart. But when they're in line and you're right behind it, it, they may as well... Has a lot of depth about it, you would think. Nigel Bond and Lee Walker. Eight. That was nicely... Oh, dear, that's not there. Well, that was a bad one. He had to just get one from Xu. One. But of course, four years later, he became the youngest ever world champion at 21. A record that stands to this day. Five straight world titles. But another pot eludes him. I'm not so much find him out, but just might test the cue action. One. For it to win because he's the pro. The established pro of recent years, I should say, obviously. Seven. Very good. He's shown glimpses, you know, I send the sport, actually. To see how the early frames go here. But that is not. So the break ends disappointingly Juicy. early Twelve. for Juicy and losing in the decider. Yeah, trying to lay up to the bottom two reds. Just missed that. Oh, miss. Strange, isn't it? As uh, Hendry escapes that shot, yeah, him playing safe or proving a sort of a Mark Selby in the tactical department. None of that ever seemed to really enter his head, and maybe that's the reason how far apart they are. One. That's a well-played shot. And played that pretty positively, but the Awkward queuing from there. I think that's a very good sign. That was a nice piece of queuing. 
cube was right up against more luck positionally there, so just the safety the snooker. Stephen Hendry, eight. Yep, that's the. Foul and a miss. Well, <laughs> I mean, you must. I wonder if he's left the red on. Wow. Uh, that's the wrong shot. Stephen Andrew, what? Can't be the right shot. Too difficult he would have wanted. That pocket again, dear us. Half of the course so far this week. No problem with the pink. In and, uh, well, he could lose the frame. Stephen Hendry said. The values of putting Philip. Everything's in the open play. It's just got to do it now. Well. Seven. No. Oh, that Steve isn't right. Let off. Goodness me, that is uh, good shot. May have well have potted it to leave twenty four. Think about this. Great. Played this very well. It'd be unlucky if the key will finish hard against the cushion. <clears throat> Two C three. And there's one from the archives. Very good. Four. Very good. A couple of times, and it looks like he still will. Down the cushion. I don't think he'll be hitting this that overly hard. So, Nine. a shaky still lot from that brown because it was a tough pot. Had he missed it, could have left it, 15, could have left the frame, frame. But for the second round, half full match. One of the most accomplished of the... Chinese players to have emerged in the last few years, former world amateur champion, world. Cup. Well, that's a little bit sloppy there. He just caught. Second to just about nobody else. And then, of course, the side of it. If I back someone to do it, it would always be this man. Oh. And uh, I think so far, so good. He made, which really effectively ended Jimmy's hopes well. because it put the complexion of the match when it looks as though White was going to lead 2 1, and Hendry, as he did so often in his pomp. 20. Well, be Seven. 
Stephen was always someone that went into the bunch with a with a just thirty six. Yeah, it was one of those. I think the plant the actually was 40. also a deflection of a Lee Walker has taken frame one against Nigel Bond. Nicely, especially with the yellow down. Well, he knocks in that great brown to win the first. Oh. It's clearly a form when it really matters. And I think for that reason, he's quite modest in his expectations at the moment. It's errors like that that will four. crop up from time, get better with each passing match. Be disappointed to miss that, but. Still 53 in front, and he's not going to be punished for it. Not yet, anyway. Well, yeah, there's a little gasp every time he misses one. You can almost know that he's off, off target before. Wow. Well. No. Julie made his fourth century in one and a bit matches, so Lyons scoring heavily, which hasn't always been a feature of his play. And 2 1 now, Dale leads as Duke. 16. Big shot this one. Well, he's not played the cannon very well at all. Playing thin off this red, I think. You see, 31. Four. Here. There oh. you go. Sweet as a nut. Again, he'll still need the remaining red. And it won't be a simple shot from where he is. Stephen Hendry, seven. Well, we're getting time. Well, he thought it was in, so. One. Not enough set. This will be a big steal for you, Hendry. Stephen Hendry only needs the green, so this. 
And a very nice shot. He played it full blooded. Right to win, really. But again, he's played that very full blood. Well, Hendry couldn't have got a pink and black for a really important steal for him early in this match. 28. Well played. So battle joined. Stephen Hendry got it. It's all square at one all. Pink to that last red was. He got a little bit too far away from it. And uh, as I say, I'm, I've just failed to believe that that right corner is, is that clearance. And he struck the ball pretty well. Quite interesting. I mentioned he lost in the first round five times. You see, one. It is in playing Paul and Q Sports over there, so he's quite a familiar name in China. And but he's queued that nicely. Well. As regards Maintaining his tour place. He's 
very, very close to the pink there. Thinner, red. Four. He's leveled the match. He can relax a bit and start to fancy the job, perhaps. Eight. But you know, there's a lot of the young Chinese players coming through. I spoke. Twenty. Twenty-six. Oh, that's well worked. That's very. Forty. He's beginning to work his way into a winning position. Forty eight. No point in getting thinking about what someone who's won seven world titles is going to do at the moment. He's doing well. I think when he doubled the green in the previous frame, I think that gave 54. him the boost. Sixty-two. And I'm not sure she would have made this break had Hendry won. It's like a different proposition now. On this evidence, Seven. Hendry's going to have his work. You see 75. And Dominic Dale still leading. played that thin way I think that's uh, very much the modern way when I well again that little groan he knew he'd hit that wrong wrongly in the better snooker it's not a f race to two though of course race to six he likes oh. a double leveling the match but who knows if he can make something substantial here Momentum since you was able to pinch it, but that has Five. gone about as wrong. Well, it's gone figure of eight, and you can't hit the blue on that shot. That's not good. He's but everything that could go wrong in that shot did, but he got lucky. <laughs> Goodness, how has he gone round the back of that? Well, five. Well, there's been a fair bit of gasping, hasn't there? In Foul, in a miss. Because he might be able to push the black in play a little bit. 
Well, not much if you hit it that thin. <coughs> together also oh, very good the play here surely oh, no. <laughs> he missed it on the way up hit it on the way back I think even he admits that uh, his safety will have to be I don't think there's ever been a what? better centre pocket. Seven. Stephen Henry, seven. One. It's nice, very nice. Twenty one. Well, there's your answer. His stroke that didn't quite beautiful. Up since then, and he's been clearly the better of the two. Thirty-three. And you retain your tour card, but clearly there's the prospect playing one of the all-time greats. Forty. But at the moment he's had. Beg your pardon, colour and red. Frame ball. Very impressive, almost Kyron Wilson air. It's proved expensive. 53. Yeah. Well, he's brilliant with the rest. He's one of the greats. <laughs> I've only seen him play. 64. A couple of the high value colours were awkward when produce time and time again. Back. And plenty of work for the seven times world champion to do on the other half. That second frame at that stage, he looked the stronger and looked. 